and welcome to episode 3 of the Woolen Channel. I'm Miss Head. I'm Miss Richardson. And I'm Miss Davidson. Oh, where's Mrs. Lee? Well, she's going to have her baby. Uh, coming up today, we've got an interview with Mrs. Brooke, highlights of the week, a French curriculum update, uh, a Remembrance Day special, and an update from the school council. So grab yourself a drink, sit back, relax, and enjoy. First up, let's hear all about French. Good afternoon. Today we are going to interview Mademoiselle Ward Ooh. to find out about the modern foreign language curriculum at Willem Primary School. <laughs> Bonjour, Mademoiselle Ward. Bonjour, ça va? Ça va bien, merci à toi. Uh, moi, je suis très bien aujourd'hui. Hmm. So, why do we learn French at Willem Primary School? Well, it's funny you should ask that question because this is always the first question that children in Key Stage choose when they start learning French ask me, why are we doing French. We don't live in France. Well, there's five main reasons that, that we teach French in Willem Primary. First of all, it is on the curriculum for all uh, Key Stage 2 children in England and Wales. Uh, so they do have to learn a modern foreign language. But there's reasons why we spoke, we chose French. So French is spoken in seven, all seven continents across the whole world. It's spoken by 29 different countries and there's nearly 300 million people in the world that can speak. Uh, French. That's why we show some French. Also, England is very close to France and it's easy for us to travel there. So to learn the language would be a good idea. Uh, number two, if you have the ability to communicate with all those people uh, because you can speak the language, um, then that, that opens up so many doors for your future. Many companies today uh, want to employ multilingual um, staff. So if you're looking at multinational companies like uh, Microsoft, Google or Nintendo, your chances will be better getting a job with those people if you can speak another language. Number three, learning a new language can lead to exciting opportunities like meeting new people, making new friends, um, traveling to different countries and finding about all their cultures. Uh, number four, when you're older, you may want to live or work in another country and or maybe even just for holidays, it helps if you can speak another language. Uh, number five, it's healthy for your brain. Uh, so it keeps your brain active. Um, and studies have actually shown that children who learn an extra language tend to be more creative, do better at school and they're more empathetic. And it's easier to learn a language when you're younger because the language part of your brain is still developing. So that's why we learn French at Willem Primary. Thanks very much. So what does a typical French lesson look like at Willem? <laughs> we usually start with a song. I love singing. Uh, unfortunately, at the moment, we've changed those into chants and rhymes because we're not singing. Uh, but normally we'll start with something like, Bonjour mes amis, comment ça va? Bonjour mes amis, comment ça va? Ça va bien, ça va mal, ça va comme si, comme ça. Bonjour mes amis, comment ça va? And once we're very aware that we're doing French, we've started with a French song, we move on to some new vocabulary for that lesson. And here we have images and text um, to show the children. And at this stage, this is when we use our translation skills. Um, so we look at the words, are they similar to any English words? Um, how can that help us? If it's a phrase we're looking at, then we look at the words that we do know in the phrase or sentence and work out the missing words there. And we also look at the grammar at this stage, like uh, if letters have accents and what they mean. Um, and we look at spelling rules because we know that there's masculine and feminine nouns in French. That's always a, a tricky thing, but the children are taught that right from the beginning of French about masculine and feminine nouns and that can affect the spelling. So we look at all the grammar around the new language, the new vocabulary. And then we'll do a little bit of written work or we'll do some matching games um, to match words to pictures. And usually we finish with a game, um, something like, qu'est-ce qu'il y a dans mon sac? Where we have the new vocabulary in a bag and we pass it round and it's like a pass a parcel game. Or if it's the weather's nice, we can go outside and we play something like Le Chat et Le Souris, the cat and mouse running and tagging game. Uh, yeah, that's how a lesson normally goes. Wow, that <laughs> sounds amazing. So how do the children learn about French culture? 
So uh, we do this in year groups. We, we pull out a little bit of culture, we do a culture lesson in each year group. So year three, we'll learn about what a birthday party is like um, in France. And we know that they quite often have tarts instead of cakes. And we learn how to sing happy birthday in French. Bon anniversaire. And we play some French uh, party games as well. Um, year four, learn about French breakfasts and how to order breakfast items. And we even have a day where uh, we bring in breakfast foods and they have to come and order like pan au chocolat, croissant, juste à orange, and the children order. That's a good culture one. In year five, we learn about um, French celebrations, in particular the storming of the Bastille and the French Revolution. Vive la France! Uh, and we play a tout game where we're storming the Bastille, where we have the revolutionaries and the nobles, and the revolutionaries are putting the children in the Bastille, like a tagging game. Uh, year six, um, they learn about a typical day in a French primary school, what lessons they may do uh, when they start school, finish school, school holidays, and then we do a vote about whether children would like to go to school in England or France. At this stage, France normally wins because they have their extended lunch break with a five-course oh. meal, about two hours for lunch. Mm -hmm. uh, and the children love that idea. Wow, that sounds incredible. <laughs> and lastly, are you French? No. <laughs> it's very amusing that a lot of the children think I'm French, but no. Ooh la la. <laughs> <laughs> that just leads me to say au revoir et merci. Au revoir, merci, à bientôt. <laughs> Bye. Ooh la la, how interesting. Uh, next up, let's hear from Mrs Parry all about Remembrance Day. Hi, my name is Miss Parry and I'm the History Lead here at Willem. Recently we have completed a Remembrance activity. We've all worked hard towards this. In early years they did hand painting to create a purple poppy to remember the animals who have died in conflict. And Key Stage 1 created a red poppy through collage to remember World War I and those who died in World War I. Lower Key Stage 2 did printing and they created a black poppy to remember the black, African and Caribbean um, people who fought and died within the wars. And Upper Key Stage 1, sorry, Upper Key Stage 2 created a collage of individual poppies with details and they made that a white poppy to remember those who have died in conflict trying to resolve it. They are now all out on display on the fence along the outside so I hope you go and have a look and talk to your children about which one they made and the activity. We followed it up with an assembly where they looked at the reasons behind poppies and the colours that they did. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Now let's find out some bits from Mrs Brooke. Hi everyone, so I've been asked to answer a few questions for you. Um, the first question was, why did you become a teacher? Um, I think I wanted to be a teacher from when I was really, really tiny. I remember doing registers with my toys and making a school bus. Um, and I think really it was the first job I knew existed. Um, and my teachers at primary school were all really lovely and seemed to have a lot of fun. So I think I just decided then that I wanted to do that. And then later on when I was really choosing my job, I had already done a lot of work with kids clubs and babysitting and things like that. And I liked being around children. Um, the next question is, what is your favourite children's film? Um, one of my all time favourite is Toy Story. Um, it's just brilliant. But I also really love Big Hero 6. Um, how long have you worked at Willem? Well, that's a tricky one. I have probably been at Willem for maybe 15, 16, possibly even 17 years. Um, I think I'm probably the longest standing teacher that's still been there. There are a couple of TAs that were there before I got there, like Mrs Taylor. Um, and Mrs Aria was there before I got there. But yeah, I think I'm the teacher that's been there the longest now. 
I've been through lots and lots of different head teachers, that's for sure. Um, would I prefer to sing everything I say or have everyone sing to me? Hmm. I'm a rubbish singer, but I think I would definitely rather sing everything I say than have to listen to other people singing all the time. <laughs> I think that would be more annoying and I could just be the annoying one to everybody else instead. Um, and the last one is my favourite thing about Willem. My favourite thing about Willem is definitely the people. It's the reason I've stayed for so long. The staff are all so lovely and supportive and when you can't think of a good idea of how to do something, they all help you out and do it. And although the staff's changed a lot, the feeling of the staff hasn't. Like, the new teachers that come in all seem to fit in really well and still carry on with the really good teamwork and wanting to make it a really fun place for children to be and for children to be able to learn the best they can. And each new person that comes in seems to fit in with that. I also really, really enjoy all the families that are at Willen. Um, I think I've now taught like whole sets of families where I've taught um, big brothers and sisters who are now at secondary or some of them have even left secondary now too and are at university. And then I've taught all their younger brothers and sisters. Um, to the point that I've taught people who were inside their mum's tummy when I was teaching a bigger child. Um, and that's really nice to be able to see how brothers and sisters are all different and get to know the families and be able to um, like communicate with the parents really well because you just know their history and you know them really well. So yeah, definitely the people is my thing that I like best about Willen. And it's the reason I've stayed around for so long. I hope that's okay answering all the questions. Bye. Thanks, Mrs. Brooke. Let's find out about our highlights of the week and find out what our challenge is. Um, my favourite part about school is we every Friday we do pee and we always do some nice stretches to, to just wake our body up. And it's fun and then it always gets you going all the time for lessons and stuff. I, my favourite part was the moment. and Miss Cedric because we're going to do some football this week with Mr. Good and I don't know what type we're going to do with Miss Cedric today. My favourite part of the week has been learning about the column method in math and, and, I, and I find it easy.